welcome back to my channel it's Adriana aka Adrian and if you're new here welcome please remember to like subscribe and comment and also follow me on Instagram at artistic souls in today's video we're going to be looking at the vagina more specifically vaginal health as it relates to yeast infection bacterial vaginosis itching swelling redness abnormal discharge and all of those things so before we get into it, I just want to make a quick disclaimer that I'm not a medical professional, I'm just sharing what's happened to me and what works for me. This is a very sensitive topic and I know a lot of persons, especially men, would not want to hear about this, but stick around, you might just learn something. So whatever the case may be, fall smell, irregular discharges, itchiness, irritation, all of that. I have the product that can solve everything. I got you, sis. Before you claim you're all grossed out about this, every four out of five women has had a yeast infection before in their lifetime. It's completely normal and the simplest thing can cause a yeast infection. Number one being antibiotics that kills the good bacteria in the vagina. Number two could be poor diet. Number three could be stress. More than one sexual partner. A weak immune system, pregnancy, and also hormonal imbalance. Now, yeast infection is not the only thing that can cause itchiness, um, irritation, and discharge. There's also bacterial vaginosis and a bladder infection. Some of you may already know that with a bladder infection, you might have a foul scent after urinating and you urinate a lot. Okay, so let's start with yeast infection. What is yeast infection, you may ask? Well, yeast infection is a fungal infection that usually causes irritation, itchiness, and discharge. Not every discharge means that you have a yeast infection. Because as you may know, the vagina cleans itself. It usually leaves behind a little bit of white discharge, which is completely normal. It means that your vagina is cleaning itself, but when it's producing too much white discharge, it could possibly mean that you're having a yeast infection. Other discharges such as maybe a green, yellow, or brown, maybe you need to see the doctor about those that could possibly be s t d okay so let me tell you a little backstory when i was younger i had no idea about um the vagina cleaning itself vaginal discharges yeast infection none of that i was in primary school i think it was the fifth grade when i was doing physical education now you know when you're doing physical education you sweat a lot so to avoid that, I would always put powder, Johnson's and Johnson's powder inside of my vagina to keep it from, to prevent it from sweating. And on top of that, I was using, I used to, on top of that, I used to wear a tight underneath my uniform along with blue i don't know if you guys know bloomers but it's kind of like a short so i had on my panties the tights and the bloomers so you know that there's absolutely no air passing through so i remember coming home from physical education one day and i was like oh my god why do i feel like this and it was it started to itch so bad and this was i think this was a couple of days before i saw my first period in the fifth grade and it was so bad i was itching and i was so afraid to tell my mother that i was having itching and then when i went home i saw like so and i didn't think it was the powder but it was after i realized that maybe it was the powder that caused the white discharge so another x another thing i did was i started putting tissue inside of my underwear <sighs> so i didn't know i was doing all these reckless things and of course i'm a child so i didn't know better and i i wasn't talking to anybody and until it when my period came it automatically went away for years 
and then years after I had a reoccurring one and I noticed that it would happen every time that I go to the beach and go in the water at the beach I'd start to feel a lot of itchiness and it was so uncomfortable it would last about two to three days and of, of course again this always happens before my period also so it happens whenever I go to the beach and before I have my period and it was so annoying and I tried everything I got medications from the doctor they were brushing it off as oh it's just it's just a little infection you'll be okay just take these and you'll be fine and then I had to keep going back again and they're giving me the same thing until I decided you know let me try something different let's try another method I started doing my own research and the crazy thing about it is that when I'm reading stuff online you know some people give you the weirdest answers I've seen women telling other women to put garlic in their vagina I've seen other women telling other women to use blue soap yogurt onion ladies let me tell you do not put these things in your vagina they it's not safe and it's definitely not a permanent fix today i have something to show you guys that is so good you guys should definitely try it and it's the boric acid so this is the boric acid it's boric life pH level all natural and it supports pH balance and supports vaginal health and this is the suppository applicator it fits most pill tablets and suppository brands and the best thing about this is that it's all natural if you've been watching my channel you know that I really like natural products so this is really good guys and the reviews that I have read they are amazing when I read the review it says that you're supposed to take it for seven days and then it should clear up by that time but let me tell you when I took this the following day all the itchiness was gone and I'm not even exaggerating um, I couldn't believe it and I ended up taking it I said to myself, all right, let me just finish taking it for the seven days and see what happens. And it was just amazing. It feels like everything down there is working perfectly fine. I haven't had another outbreak since I took this. And I'm really loving it. I keep this in the house just in case though, just in case anything happens and I may want to, I may want to use it again. It was also so naive because I didn't know that having an imbalance hormone could cause all of that but as you grow you learn the best thing about this is that it's very cost efficient it doesn't cost a lot of money as you would probably spend at the doctor and you don't need a prescription to get this you can buy it over the counter and it's basically so easy to do it's easy to insert in your vagina I'll be showing you like a little demo on how you do that and yeah this really does treat vaginal odor fishy scents um, itchiness wear discharge um, irritation all of that this is just like I think every woman needs like a boric acid in her jar and ladies if you decide to try this please ensure that you're wearing like panty liners because once you insert the pill in your vagina then it's going to clean everything out and then you're going to have a little leakage so ensure that you're wearing a panty liner guys it's completely natural to talk about your vagina it's completely natural to seek help whenever you feel like something is wrong down here at least know what exactly is going on with your body okay so i'm sure that after doing all of this you might want to maintain good vaginal health so i'm going to share some tips with you that i personally use to ensure that my vaginal health is always on 100. 
So first, we're going to talk about drinking water. Ensure that you drink lots and lots of water. You need to flush out your system and you need to urinate a lot to get whatever that's in your vagina, whatever bad bacteria that's in your vagina out. The second tip is to always wear cotton panties. I know some of us like the sexy thongs and lace panties but those are not good for you just ensure that you mostly wear cotton panties the next tip is ensure that the products that you're using down there are not scented so you don't want to use a scented body wash you don't want to use uh, underwear that have scents and all of you don't need all of them and uh, i'm not sure if you guys have seen my previous videos if you haven't you can go back and check but try not to wear scented pads those can give you like a yeast infection ensure that your pads are not scented they have a neutral scent and that they are cotton the next the next tip is do not douche you don't want to stick anything up in your vagina do not stick soap up your vagina nothing at all the vagina cleans itself all you need is a all natural wash to just wash the outer set the out the outer area of your vagina you don't you don't need to push anything up in your vagina is ensuring that you're eating lots of vegetables you're getting your rest good exercise and you'll be okay practice good hygiene and also take a shower at least two times per day that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like subscribe and comment and also follow me on instagram at artistic souls let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and i will link the products in the description below until next time guys bye